It's definitely deja vu all over again. Let's see. What do I have in this chest? Still nothing. <sighs> well, I've put it off long enough. There's no way I'm going to avoid it. I simply have to go on down there. Maybe I can get some flint first. That might solve a problem or two off the bat. If nothing else, it'll replenish the elevator. Hmm. Okay, it's a dark corner. I don't like that. Yeah. Oh well, let's head on down. I'm sure I will find plenty down below to keep me occupied. I really should be using a shovel for this. Flint does not like giving itself up to manual manipulation. Personally, I don't understand why. I've never had an issue with it. But Flint seems to be a strange thing. All right, that was a torch. Where did it come from? Did I knock it off the side there? I bet I did. Okay. Okay. And it's going to be down there now. Okay. Said no point putting it off any longer. See if we can find the precious redstone. I wish I knew where that rat was. I'd put you out of my misery if I could find you. Iron. That I can definitely, definitely use. Oh, I heard a halfling. Now, halfling, you're not going to use this iron. I will keep it out of your foul, bony fingers. Okay. Wonder where that thing is. I hear him so plainly. And the iron down there. Okay, more iron in that wall. It's definitely a wonderful resource cave here. Ooh. Ah, that was not what I meant to do. <sighs> it never is. Okay. Oh dear. I don't like that dark area either. Let's go. Light it up a little, shall we? Okay. Whew, maybe that's one less place. There's something to try to jump out and eat my face. Oh, I haven't used my poetry since college. Good reason. I'm not trying to pick up co-eds anymore. Oh, Lord, I was such the character back then. Always dressing in poetic purple. In teal. Wearing my hair short. And dyed a deep, deep blonde, like all the serious poets have. More iron. <sighs> you are truly a cave of bounty. Ah. 
Ah, the gods give, they do provide. Mother Iron and Father Coal. They just want you to work for it. They'll give you nothing. They want you to work for it. That's that workbench I left behind before. Alright, hang on tightly. Let's take a look. I don't see anything about to jump down below me. Did I remember to bring a workbench with me? No, I didn't. You will come in very handy. Huh. If I didn't throw you away down the cliff... Does it always seem to be my lot in life? I don't like that noise. I did not like that noise at all. Sounds like some sort of demonic duck. That can't be a good thing. Oh, whoa, hell. Oh, where, where, where? Whoop, whoop, whoop. <sighs> Let me guess. Chipmunks. The dreaded enemy of gnomes everywhere. Well... We will show you, just as soon as I get my stuff back. That is just unfair. How are you supposed to spite an enemy that's the size of your toe? And why is it able to hurt you so badly? Oh, uh, I would be angry, Dolphin, laughing at me that way. I probably deserve it. You don't have to laugh that long, though. Mm. <sighs> Better than nothing. I feel like a dwarf carrying this rather than a proper gnome. I'm determined now, and have a proper song of determination in my heart. And I leave you over here. There you are. Come here. Come on. Good lord, how did you hurt me so bad? Is there more than one of you? I can hear you more. Oh, shut up, dwarves. I can hear another chipmunk. That really disturbs me. Let's see. Oh, why did you have to fall down there? God, it's an entire frat party. <sighs> I would claim it was a sausage party, only because they happen to all look like sausage. 
You can't tell with dwarves. That's the thing about them. Their females and males look so much alike. I'm so happy that you can readily tell the difference between a male and a female gnome. And vive la défrance, eh? Oh, those females with their cloven hooves and their little curly tails. Just something about a fresh co-ed that just lights the gnomish blood on fire. I have to say, that's taken some of the determination out of my heart. My spirit is not as bouncy elf, elf, yes, uh, uh. What the hell? Seriously? You want to send that after me too? Really? That's your idea of fair, is it? Oh my. I see weapons. I'm just so worried all that stuff's gonna disappear before before I can get to it. Now, somewhere, someplace, there has to exist an explorer. I have no idea what his name might be, but somewhere there has to exist one that never dies. Somewhere there has to be someone whose luck runs that can just kill elf after elf after elf and Spider after spider, halfling after halfling, dwarf after dwarf, and absolutely never, ever die. Somewhere, that person exists. And I just want you to know that I exist in order to even out the balance and to keep the average an average. Because for every one of you... Oh, good grief. He is close. For every one of you, there has to exist one of me. And I just wanted to say to you, from the deepest depths of my heart, thank you oh so damn much for putting me in this situation. Where are my torches? Where is anything that I have? No. This is horrible. I can hear another dwarf too. Where are you at? Another dwarf, another chipmunk. This is horrible. have more things here. Where are they? I have to be able to get out of here. Okay, at least I know where the mushrooms have gone. I'm afraid I've lost everything else. Oh, and a halfling now, too, of course. <sighs> yes. Mr. Incredible. Mr. I Never Die. I just want to say to you 
Thank you so much for allowing someone like me to exist. At least I have a purpose in life. To balance you out and keep the bell curve even.